No, oh, maybe we're gonna play this Sigarda and Dawnheart Wardens. Let's do that actually. Yeah, so we're gonna tap this for green and we're gonna tap this for white, white. Uh, we'll pay one green here, uh, resolve. And then we'll play Sigarda. We'll auto pay for that, okay. All right, that way we're not doing the bad thing. All right, attack for four. Pretty good turn, pretty good turn. What is up everyone, Justin Parnell back with more Historic Brawl and today we got some more Shadows Over Innistrad. There's just so many good legends in Shadows Over Innistrad. And normally, I'm on the wrong end of Sigarda Heron's Grace, who we're going to be playing today. But uh, today, we are going to be playing the Angels and the Humans, because Sigarda gives me, that's right, me, and all humans I control, Hexproof, which is great. Now, Sigarda herself doesn't have Hexproof, but that's okay. There's plenty of humans to go around to take advantage of that Hexproof, and of course she can also pay to exile a card from my graveyard to make a 1-1 human token. So, if you can imagine, all of these cards say the word human. These are the cards that don't. Uh, not many. Okay, not very many cards don't say human. But all of these cards say human, so we are going to be playing the humans out it's a little aggro deck a little bit of disruption a little bit of top end uh and a lot of humans that have hex proof so i don't know this is a pretty punchy deck so i'm ready let's get punching but before we get into the games please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to keep seeing this sweet sweet content every week and i i swear to all of you I don't do this on purpose, but for our very first match, we were playing <laughs> Traxa. So, uh, unfortunately, this is not a very good hand. We have a bunch of three drops. So, we're going to try to find something a little bit quicker. And this is this is slightly better with this Esper Sun. Only a little bit. But it's like, it's it's truly amazing. I would say the amount of times that the very first game that I play against Atraxa is over 50% with any deck, any new deck that I play. And our win percentage is obviously under 50%, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta get, you gotta just try. So that's what we're gonna do. We got an Esper Sentinel on turn one, and then uh, we need a third land for this. We need a third land for Perimeter Sergeant. Obviously, we need five for Sigarda. Four for Heron's Grace Champion, a.k.a. Sigarda. So, I don't know. It all just kind of depends on what they got. Our opponent's got a pretty cool sleeve. I wonder where they got that. Just a big zombie face. I like zombie faces. All right. Esper Sentinel is a go-go. Uh, Forest... Or green producing land would be great. Travel preparations uh, puts them on two target creatures, so we want to wait a little bit. We don't exactly want to just fire off immediately on putting one counter on Esper Sentinel. I'd like to. Well, 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 it looks like they have an Esper Sentinel as well. Hello. Uh, we'll, we'll pass. Uh, surprisingly, we do have two cards. That could let them draw cards with Esper Sentinel. We really need to draw a third land, though. Inquisition of Kozilek. All right. Uh, of course we drew Thalia off of that, and it's immediately discarded. Good goodness. Okay. <laughs> Just absolutely unbelievable. Just we, drawing Thalia, which would have been by far the best card for us to play... And they don't care about theirs as much. All right, good news. We have an overgrown farmland, so we're going to go ahead and play this Perimeter Sergeant. And we're going to go ahead and attack. All right, we have travel preparations on our turn. Put a plus one, plus one counter on up to two target creatures. Well, we got two targets. I mean, at least this, at least discarding this Thalia let us get to a land. I would have liked to have, you know, swapped, swapped these, maybe just a hair. I think I want an Inquisitor Captain, actually. We can travel prep later. 
Inquisitor Captain. All right. There's 20 or more creatures. That means we get one of these. Let's get Thalia's Lieutenant. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, now we're attacking for seven. Yes! 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 Victory against Atraxa. you love to see it. We're on the draw against Extus Oreek Overlord, and... Uh, this is close, but I think it's a mulligan. We want to try to find uh, both colors, and this is this is a little bit better. Fortified Village. We can reveal a plane that's coming to place untapped, which is crazy, quite frankly. And we're going to play this giant killer on turn one, so... Oh yeah, we'll reveal that. And we don't have a turn two play. No turn two. But we have a couple of turn threes. So we will uh, attack. We're not going to need to tap anything. I think we're going to play Wedding Announcement first. Now, Extus Arik Overlord could just be awaken the Blood Avatar. I have a commander deck that I've played, I don't know, three dozen times. And I've never once cast Exus. I've only cast Awaken the Blood Avatar. So, that's what I'd be doing if it were me. Alright, wedding announcement. Let's get this down. We're not going to attack. We'll make a 1-1. One, one. Champion of Lampholt is pretty sweet. Ooh, Outlaws Merriment. And Cursebound Witch. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Well, we have a Watley. Loyalty counter for each creature we control. But I think we want to play Champion of Lampholt right now. Start getting some... Some counters on it. Make a 1-1 one, one creature. They're going to make a 2-1 with lifelink and haste. Okay, right on. As you can tell, this is the gentleman with lifelink and haste. Exactly. Okay. So, they could play... Awaken the Blood Avatar. But they're going for... Woe Strider first. I imagine Awake of the Blood Avatar is coming next turn. Uh, Watley is going to go to uh, a lot of counters, because we have four creatures now. We're going to have five, but it's going to have four, so it's going to get plus five, go to eight, which is exactly emblem range. Watley's also great. The minus target creature gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of creatures you control. We champion a lamp hall. It essentially makes all of our creatures unblockable. Okay. And we... We're just going to sacrifice one of our little humans here. Draft two cards, because the die trigger happens twice with Tesa. Excellent. Alright. They get an avatar. We have to sacrifice a creature. Alright. If we can... Okay. Uh, so this is going to get Vigilance and Lifelink. Which is massive. We're going to try to kill Tesa right now. We're going to block with both of these. Order blockers. Champion of Lampold's going to come first. Well, we're going to give it plus one, plus one. And, uh, and vigil, and, uh, and indestructible. So, Tesa bites the dust. Their avatar is still around, which is mighty inconvenient. So, let's go ahead and, uh... We'll play Watley next turn. We'll play Sigarda this turn. So our humans get plus one, plus one. All of these are humans. 
This is a four. Uh, creatures with power less than Champion of Lampalt can't block creatures we control. So that's all. That's both of their creatures. So we're gonna just we're just gonna get in. We're gonna try to just get in. I can't block. Now we're gonna draw a card. Probably, probably should have just attacked with one, so we can uh, make a token. Probably should have just attacked with the champion of Lampalt. But you know what? It's all good. This human deals one damage to any target. Trying, they might try to team up and kill the champ. The people's champ. Uh, we might sneaky... We might, like, sneaky get them with Champion of Lampolt next turn. They're at 20. Okay, wedding announcement. Trespasser's Curse. Okay. They don't... They can't kill this. So, Watley can give our creatures plus four, plus four. A creature, which is Champion of Lampolt. So this is going to be nine... And then I think this is 11. I think we actually... Ha We're going to go for it. We're going to go for the kill. Watley. Uh, minus... Targeting champion of Lamholt. Going to get plus four, plus four. Going to attack them. Uh... We're going to get an Avacyn's Pilgrim because we can play that this turn. Is this lethal? Yes! Yes! Exact lethal. Oh, that's good. Oh, Champion of Lamholt still good after all these years. All right, opponent goes first. We're on the draw against Old Rustine. We're going to mulligan this hand. It's all white, but... We're okay. We got a nice little curve here, so we'll keep it. Esper Sentinel into Luminarch Aspirate. That's some that's some good stuff right there. Dockside Chef. What a great card with great art. Okay, Circle of the Land Druids. They mill four, and then when it dies, they can get a land back, which they got none of. No, we're not blocking the Chef. No blocks on that chef. All right. Luminarch Aspirant. One counter on Esper Sentinel, please. No attacks. We certainly don't want to trade with Circle of the Land Druid. They will absolutely make that trade. Outland Liberator. Maybe we can... Um, kind of, like, trick them into... trying to blow this up. Uh, no attacks. Oh, well, this will flip. That's that's no good. We don't want it to flip. We'll play resistant scraw, draw a card. Okay. Well, Rustine. Build a creature. Get a creature. All right. Fortified... Village. All right. Uh, Luminar Aspirant's going to give a plus one counter to the Resistance Squad. And we're going to serve in with the squad. Squad up. They're going to double block. That's fine. We'll trade the squad. Oh, this is an enchantment creature? That is really convenient for us. Go ahead and blow that up. Blow up the chef. Okay, so they get a treasure because they mill a land. Oracle of Moldaya. That's not a land on top. Ooh, Baron Moore. Cycle. Oh, they found a land. Nice. Oh, God, Crater Hoof. All right, uh, that's a little scary. Crater Hoof is a wee bit scary. Okay, uh... Torrens. 
And let's give a counter to Esper Sentinel. And then we will attack with Esper Sentinel. If they try to team up and block, we can fight as one to give it protection. Nope. No blocks. Okay, that's fine. We will end the turn. This exiles a thing? Oh, non-creature artifact or non-creature enchantment. Alright, so they milled Crater Hoof. Hope they can't get Crater Hoof back. No, they immediately got Crater Hoof back. Like within seconds they got it back. All right, we'll draw a card. I think we're just dead. I think we're getting hoofed. Yeah, we're super dead. This is uh, a million, approximately one million damage. Uh, sometimes you get hoofed. Even if we could kill one of these, we're still dead. Good game. Got hoofed. Negative 17. Uh, it's a heck of a card. On the draw against Catilda, a really sweet looking Catilda, uh, we'll keep. I assume they are humans as well. Human creatures have add one man of any of this creature's colors. Okay. Well, let's start with a planes and a giant killer. I'm going to get on the board. Hamlet Vanguard is pretty sweet. There's Catilda. There's Lauren of the Third Path. All right. Uh, during our opponent's upkeep, we're going to tap Catilda. Got him. We got him. Tapped. Turned their mana off. Probably going to play a three drop. They did immediately play the three drop. And they stole our guy? Till this leaves the battlefield, huh? This doesn't have to be uh enchantment or anything, does it? Alright, let's uh let's play the people's champ. I wish we had a Catilda. Toski. That ain't right. This isn't even a human. What are you doing? This is a squirrel and human deck? Alright, we'll play Torrens. Make some make some blockers here. We could attack. Toski actually cannot block uh, Champion of Lamb Hulk. Pretty much ever. So whenever we cast a creature, we make a human with training. Paradox Engine, well, we're going to be casting Lauren of the Third Path, I can tell you that. Destiny Spinner. Okay, they got a lot of two drops. Playing their whole hand out, huh? Alright. Well, we can't let you just, just have that Paradox Engine forever. So, we'll blow it up. No, thank you. And uh, we do want Toski to block, be blocked by Torrens. I think we're just going to wait a bit. We're just going to we're just going to wait. We're going to put some defenses up. So they don't have a way to they don't have a way to draw cards. Esper Sentinel theoretically could. We're not really going to let him. We're not really in the business of. Of drawn cards here. Okay, do they have a do they have a trick? All right. Well, let's attempt to block uh, bounty agent, and then let's block uh, there, and then. Well, I guess Toski's their way of drawing cards, huh? That makes sense. Uh, we'll block Destiny Spinner, and then we're going to block Bounty Agent and 
then we're gonna block Thalia. Oh yeah, I forgot all that could happen. Okay, cool. Well, we just threw our whole board away. That's that's great. Love it. Love to see it. Onboard tricks. I'm sure everyone... Uh, comment section of YouTube. Yeah, I know. I missed it. And now we're probably dead. There is more than this to... Uh, yeah, you get to add counters on everything, don't you? Fancy that. We threw away our torrents. Thank good. That's not what we want. Alright, we'll try to block... Like so? They can just do it again? I mean, we'll, we'll make them do it again. Heroic intervention? That's even worse. Now we're just gonna draw a million cards. It's it's over. It's all it's all over but the crying. Our elder thar does get massive. All we gotta do is quadruple its power and then we can win. Our our, our champion of lamp gets gets massive. Best gear, shield mate. Get a counter. Mayor of Averbrook. Get a counter. So we can block three things. One, two, three, and then we're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not good game. All right, they got us. We were basically dead before then, but um, we're definitely dead now. So, no blocks. We'll take it. Good game. Take the rest of the damage. We could have we could have soaked it up at the cost of our whole board, but it's just not worth it. Uh, on the draw against Tyvar Jubilant Brawler, and we're gonna we're gonna go mulliganing. Much better. Okay, we'll keep this. We got a Thalia. We do have one of our non couple of our non creature spells, but Thalia into uh into Adeline. That's a heck of a combo, regardless of what our opponent's doing, especially when they have a planeswalker as a commander. Of course they they found the mana so they can cast it regardless, but still pretty good. Take one. And we'll play Thalia out. We might we I think we're gonna play this Somberwald Sage, actually. Somberwald Sage really gonna jump us up in mana. Like a huge, huge amount. Rishkar. I guess they could not I guess they could not play Tyvar. They didn't have a land. We have Thalia with first strike, so they cannot attack. Uh, let's play Somberwald Sage. And then next turn, we're going to have at least six mana to cast creatures, that is. Good news. Augur of Autumn plus Adeline is six mana. So that's that's uh, that's going to happen. Okay. Circle of Dreams Druid. All right, well, let's see. We're going to add white with this. Uh, I guess we're going to take a damage no matter what. And no no attacks no attacks with Dahlia. We got the people's champ coming next turn though. It's a race. All right, they got Tyvar. And they're going to make four... They could make eight mana, nine mana this turn. All green, but still. Pretty... pretty ridiculous. 
I believe in you, friend. All right. What are we going to do with that that crazy amount of mana? Mar I don't even know what this does. Uh, it looks really bad, though. Conjure a card named Marwan the Nurturer and X Lanwar Elves? Holy crap. Alright, things are things are bad. Things have gotten bad. Are we gonna get hoofed again? Are we getting hoofed? God, we're getting hoofed again. Our opponent has two lands. This is insane. And they have Vorinclex? Uh, this is, this is bad news. Jeez, I don't, there's not, literally nothing we can do about this. We'll play this champion of Lampel that can't get any counters. We'll play this, uh, Uvenwald Mysteries. This doesn't have first strike, does it? I mean, well, I guess we'll trade. We'll attempt to attack here. Yeah, uh, we're super dead, though. We're super dead. We're about to get hoofed for, like, 200. <laughs> they let their commander die. All right. I'm ready for the hoofening. I'm going to say 200. That's going to be my guess. Uh, we're obviously dead, so no blocks. Let's see how much it is. Alright, not quite. It was, 100, it was like 160. Uh, good game. Good game. We're super dead. Alright, we're on the draw against... Oh. Atraxa. You know what? We beat them before. We can beat them again. Why not? Let's give it a go. I just want to see him concede. I just want to see this stupid portrait explode. Look, we got a Dauntless Bodyguard. Okay, on turn one. Probably should have played this Fortified Village, but I was too excited. We'll play it on turn two. Not a problem. Then we can play this Ambitious Farmhand. Ambitious, just like our chances. Ambitious of us to think we can win against the Traxa twice. Maybe we can. Turn three? We don't have anything on turn three, but we got a lot of three drops, though. I bet we can draw one. Opponent really determined to find the exact right land. Probably got a calculator out, doing some math, and ultimately gets a forest, right? Excellent. All right, let's show this forest. Uh, I do like this Hamlet Captain. We're going to play this Hamlet Captain. So, Hamlet Captain, whatever it attacks or blocks. Other humans get plus one, plus one. So, that's going to be five coming in. Unless there's like a sweeper. Okay, Redain. God of the Worthy. Right, okay. So, well, let's play Avacyn's Pilgrim. And then let's play Ambitious Farmhand. So ambitious. We got a regular non-snow planes. We're not going to attack, though, because this is a 2-3. Our big spells that are not creatures cost more. Well, good news. We only have creatures. Even better news, we're not ramping at all. So, Confounded Conundrum, pretty reasonable, as far as we're concerned. Okay. Our turn. Our turn. Lair of the Hydra. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and play this Inquisitor Captain. And then we can choose... Oh, yes. Let's get this Hamlet Vanguard. It's an 11-11 with Ward 2. That is pretty spicy. Uh, no attacks, though. All right. Please let this live. Please. 
By the love of Cigar to let it live. Vornclex. Okay. Thank goodness we got this down first. Yeah, no, no, no attacks notable. Okay, so let's play this planes. Let's play uh, Averbrook Caretaker. And this gives two counters to a creature we control. Well, it's going to be one counter. But that's going to be good enough for us. We'll attack for 12. They're taking 12, which is actually much scarier. It's much, 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 much scarier. We're going to get hit with a sweeper? Really hope not. Just an Atraxa? Okay. Yeah, right on, right on, right on. Okay, got a whole bunch of nonsense, including a Pact of Negation. Okay. So... We can give this... Make this 13. Wish we could just make this die or not be able to block or maybe give this trample some way because it doesn't have trample it's just got it's just a 12 12 with ward 2 okay they got the scarab god chromatic lantern pack negation binding the old gods professor onyx and hinterland harbor all right right on they figured out this has vigilance great great news okay I gotta discard a million cards. I'll tell you, two cards are not gonna discard, or three cards. It's gonna be uh, Professor Onyx, Binding the Old Gods, and Pact Negation. All this other nonsense, they're gonna discard that stuff. Sanctuary Lockdown. Oh my god. Can we get them? Okay, so Sanctuary Lockdown gives our humans plus one, plus one. Then we tap two untapped humans to tap a creature our opponent controls. God, if only they had blocked, if they had chumped last turn. Is this gonna get a, is this gonna eat a pack negation? It is gonna eat a pack negation. Okay. I mean I can I can kinda I can respect that. Alright, we'll play Somberwald Sage. Alright, this is gonna get one counter. And we're gonna serve in for 13. Probably going to block with Redain, if I had to guess. Doesn't have, uh... Oh, going to block with Atraxa. I guess Atraxa does have Death Touch. Okay, they go to 17. Alright. Got to pay for Pact. That's going to eat up most of their turn. Man, if they don't play, if they don't play a spell, we can flip Averbrook Caretaker... Ho ho ho! That would be spicy. You gotta pay. You do have two blue. You have three blue. What if they didn't? What if they just didn't have the blue? Alright, just... Just forests up. Okay. Don't cast a spell. No spell. Please. Yes. No spell. No spell. Oh, baby. Is this gonna flip? Are we going to actually flip this Everbrook Caretaker on our opponent's turn? Yeah, that's fine. We'll take it. Please. Yes. Yes! Oh, that's good stuff. I don't think we're going to play Sigarda. I think we're going to uh, make this a 5-5. Five five? Yeah, let's make it a 5-5. Five, five. And let's go to combat. And let's go attacking. Math is for blockers. I don't know what's going to happen, but math is for blockers. Are you blockers? Is blockers you, Atraxa? Are you blockers? 
are you blockers of Traxa? Because you have to do the math, not me. I'm just turning all my creatures sideways. Okay, that's all I'm doing. You can figure it out. All my creatures got hexproof now. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, normally, obviously, it would suck that our opponent's roping us, but this is the sweetest rope. It's the rope that they used uh, to wrap around their own feet. <laughs> That's... Uh, as they jump off, as they jump off the side of whatever this is, and their angel wings will not help them, as impressive as they are. Grand unifier, my ass. Oh yeah, yeah, giving that those sweet, sweet tears. Yeah, you're playing this big old four color deck. I'm playing humans, okay? I just got a bunch of little dumpy creatures. All I got's a bunch of little dumpy creatures. And a, and a big werewolf. But this was a human at once. Look, see? Human, right there. I didn't put it in this deck as a not human. Uh, Somber Wild Sage getting in for three, for two. God, you just love to see it. So what's the best they could do? All right, so they could block these two, and then they take two, uh, seven, ten, twenty. Minimum twenty. Yeah, I love to see it. Yeah, salt it out. Salt it out. Goth Moto. I want everyone to look at this name. I'm going to name and shame. I don't care. Mmm, 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 mmm. Taste it. Taste it, Traxa. All right. Opponent on the play. We have a Rowan and a Will as our opponents. We're going to keep this hand. All right, uh, forest, and we'll go ahead and play Shadow Spear. We're going to play this humble naturalist. Our opponent brainstorms in response, which will, aka, do nothing. Now, if they have a fetch land on their second turn, I'll stand corrected. Okay, they don't. They have an arcane signet, so their their brainstorm basically did nothing. And you know what? That's okay. It's okay to, to play Brainstorm and then have it not have any text. That is your prerogative. They drew three cards, they put two back, and now they've drawn them both back. But if that's what they want to do, then by golly, they can. It's their deck. I don't want to stop them from having the time of their life casting a, a Brainstorm like that. All right, they played Rowan and shot us for one. Well, I got good news and I got bad news. It's mostly for them in both cases. Because we have a Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. And that's probably going to really put a damper on... On whatever they're doing. Serum Snare? Okay. They can proliferate. Okay. Let's get to it. We got a Thalia. What say our opponent? I mean, I'm sure that they can kill it. It's just going to cost them. Yeah, it's going to cost them a little bit. Mesmerizing Dust. Yeah, that, uh, that I am okay with. Then, it th then Thalia sticks around. They got an emblem, though. Emblems are bad news. Let's play the naturalist. This is going to get a counter. Equipped here. And we are going to kill this. We don't want them to, like... We don't want them to mess around and get two emblems. So whenever you cast Ensor Sorcery, they can pay two and copy it. Okay. 
That's pretty good. They got that for the rest of the game. It's going to be an uphill battle for us to try to climb. All right. Champion of Lampholt. Does it resolve? Spell Swindle. Okay. They did pay six. All right. We'll play a Bounty Agent. I imagine this one's going to resolve. They do have treasures. They can they can do something. This Thali is going to be pretty inconvenient for them. Like, even if it sticks around. All right. Our little Dawnheart Disciple putting in some work whenever another human enters that gets plus one, plus one. Well, we got a lot of humans. A lot of comings and goings of the humans. Sigarda going to be coming next turn. Now, that's not a human, but it's going to give them all hexproof. If it resolves, that is. Our opponent correctly countering Champion of Lampholt, the People's Champ. Uh, no one has ever defeated this card on record. Never happened, not once. Okay, first thing that we're going to do, travel preparations. I would like to prepare Dawnheart, Disciple, and Bounty Agent, please. I'd like to prepare, prepare them for travel. Does that resolve? I imagine we got a kill spell or a bounce spell. Negate. Okay. It does not. That's fine. We got a Mayor of Everbrook. What about that one? This is a good one to counter if they got it. Counter spell. Got it. Okay. Alright, now that we've gotten those counter spells out of their hand, we'll attack for five. Gain three life. Up to 35 for us. Sigarda, Sigarda's coming coming soon, and we'll start taking cards out of our graveyard. Three, which we have uh, two. We want to keep the travel prep in there. And then we can make humans. Our opponent has two cards still. A sweeper would... Uh, it would unlock Elspeth. So they are drawing, scrying two and drawing two, and they're going to copy it. So then scry two, draw two, then scry two and draw two. That's pretty good. Okay. One on top, one on bottom. Now they're going to do it again. So they paid six mana to uh, scry two, draw two twice. I mean, that's pretty solid. I mean, it's pretty good. As far as we're concerned. Okay. God's willing. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and just play Sigarda. I hope they do not have a counterspell. That would be really inconvenient for us at this point. Okay. They did not. We'll attack for five. Sweeper also would be bad. I feel like we're kind of getting into sweeper territory. But we want to put the pressure on them. We're the aggro deck. We ask the questions. They have the answers. And if they don't, then they lose. And I'm okay with that. I'm settled in. I'm settled in with us with the fact that we could potentially lose if they have a sweeper right now. A big one. It's got to be a big, big honking sweeper. Like a burn down the house. I would love to go to our turn. Oh, that would be great. That would be great. We got a travel prep, a little travel prep action. We're going to hold up this God's Willing, though. And we're just going to go and we're going to attack. Well, let's just go attacking. This is uh, 7, 9, 10. It's technically lethal. Volt charge. Okay, let's see if they copy it. If they do, they're copying it. Okay, I we, maybe we're going to get them. We're going to cast God's Willing. If this resolves with red... We're going to remove a card from our graveyard, make a 1-1, one, one, give this plus 1, and they're going to take 11 lethal damage. You love to see it. Even fighting against the early emblem. On the play against Atraxa. Good lord. You know what? Fine. We're going to keep this hand. You want to beat down on Atraxa? You want to see an Atraxa beat down? Fine. We're 2-0. Oh. We're 2-0 oh against Atraxa. Maybe humans is the Atraxa killer. That would be... Kind of appropriate, given the context of the story. No spoilers. Uh, Tracks didn't make it, though. 
Okay, that was a spoiler. A little bit of a spoiler. Travel prep. Now we need another land. I'm going to play this humble naturalist. So humble. Never seen a naturalist so humble. And then we can play Join the Dance. Okay, we won't do any of that. We'll play Augur of Autumn. Fine. Augur of Autumn it is. And then we're going to play Somberwald Sage, which we should have played first. Skyclave Relic, okay. And let's just play Somberwald Sage, sure. We'll attack for two. Alright, so next turn we have uh, three, seven, eight mana. Key to the Archive, probably getting a Sweeper. Ooh, but we do have Fight as one. That's pretty spicy meatball. Okay, so... Yeah, let's play Sagarda. And then we'll play Iganjo. And... This, these have got Hexproof. I don't think we want to blink anything. Yeah, we'll just play uh, Join the Dance. And then we'll go attacking. So if they have a sweeper, fight as one can protect Sagarda and probably Augur of Autumn. Time Warp, how original. You got it. Just don't exile them. Just try to kill them. Kill them like the normal way. No exiling, please. So, oh my god, two time warps in a row? <sighs> so unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just try to do a sweeper. What are you doing? Sweep, sweep, sweep it up. Come on. Get to sweeping. Turn target creature. This gives it indestructible. Can't do anything about that. Hand, sure. Landwar Loam Speaker. All right, our turn. Okay, we can play Elite Spellbinder. That's pretty good. Let's, uh, for white here, let's play Elite Spellbinder. What are we? What are we looking for? Hmm. Elspeth's Nightmare. Well, let's get the Wandering Emperor. And then, um, I wonder what's on the bottom of that. I don't think we're going to want to hold up as fight as one, so we'll just play Tireless Tracker. And then we'll play Charming Prince. And we will exile here. No attacks. Bring this back. Then we're going to get Elspeth's Nightmare. All right, going pretty wide. Scry one, draw a card. Jason Raveler secrets with excellent art. And there's a Traxa, as usual. All right, four lands were on top. A lot of lands. Okay, they pick Command Tower, then uh, explore Celestis Lorne. Sure. Explore. They definitely have another land. Okay. Ambitious farmhand. Pretty ambitious, but... Ooh. I wish we could play this Lauren. I guess we could if we don't search. If we don't search. Yeah, let's not... And uh, let's play Lauren instead. And we're going to blow up this key to the archive. And we could get back the naturalist. Let's just play Torrens. We're just going to try to go real wide. And then hope something good happens. And not something bad. Okay, scry and draw a card.
Thoughtseize. Okay. Fighters 1 is the card we really want to have stick around. They'll probably get the Ranger Captain. No, stop looking at that Fighters 1. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about Fighters 1. Okay. Uh, sure. We'll put it in our command zone. Okay, they got Sigarda. Tracks are coming in. Vigilance. Gotta have Vigilance too, huh? Elspeth's Nightmare. Gonna get Augur of Autumn. Yeah, rightfully so. Augur of Autumn was, uh... Quite powerful. We can't get it back. Celestus. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and tap this for white. And... Uh, oh, man. Oh, they only have one? They probably have a blink card. Can't cast non-creature spells this turn. Okay. So, I wish we could do this on the stack. Uh, yeah, we'll take the action. We're gonna get Giant Killer... And, I mean, like, they have two cards in their hand. Let's just try, let's attempt, let's attempt to kill Atraxa. Let's just see what happens. Oh, it just happened. We did it. Atraxa down. Atraxa down. I repeat. Uh, giant killer. Making another one. Alright, let's go attacking. Uh, Jace needs five to die. That's going to be you. And then everyone else is going to go at Atraxa. Uh, training. We did attack with a creature with a greater power. Okay. So... During their upkeep, we could stop during their upkeep and stop them from casting non-creatures. We could sacrifice this. I think we gotta do that. Alright. Can't cast non-creatures this turn. And they're playing the Wandering Emperor in response. Okay. Okay. I'm actually okay with that. Uh, they get a non-creature, non-land card? Okay, well... We're gonna give, um... Lauren Indestruct... Plus one, plus one, and Indestructible. And then this, that's fine. So they see a resistance squad. They knew we had the extraction specialist. Okay. You can exile one thing. We haven't played a single land since we got this tireless tracker. Okay, opponent has three lands. They could play a lore and they could play a knight. And they're exiling Torrens. Pretty reasonable. Have they gained two? Go to 17. I am almost sad to see you go. They're playing Knight of Autumn. I bet they're going to be gaining some life. That's what I would do. No, putting counters on it. Okay. Alright. Target land. It doesn't untap the land. Alright. Overgrown farmland. Okay. So, Resistance Squad would draw us a card. I think we want to do that. Let's let's Resistance Squad. See what we can find. Another land. Okay. This can flip. So, we can tap... I th we're going to tap this, and then we're just going to go in. We're just going to attack. We're just going to, like, see what we can do here. 
Let's attack our opponent. Can we get them down? Training. This is going to flip to a 3-3. Alright, it's a 3-3. It's a three -three. Alright, how much damage is it? How much damage are we doing? Are they dead? Yes, exact damage. Oh my god. 3-0 Atraxa. This is the greatest... This is the greatest... Uh, this is the greatest attack Atraxa defeating deck I've ever made. Well... We have found the Atraxa Destroyer, and it is humans. Sigarda Host, Heron's, not Host of Heron's. That's a different one. Uh, this is Champion of Light. Sigarda Heron's Grace, leading all the humans, defeating Atraxa, undefeated against Atraxa. Normally, I concede. I'm just like, I'm just like, I don't want to do this again, but I'm like, yeah, maybe th this matchup seems okay. Putting a lot of pressure on him. A little bit of disruption. And, uh, yeah. Undefeated against Atraxa. Now, obviously, we lost a couple of other ones, but this deck felt, felt pretty good. You know, I think that it could be... You could build this a lot of different ways. It, I, I would imagine that uh, this Sigarda is probably a little bit better as a commander for a human deck than this one. But the Hexproof is nice. The thing about Hexproof is you never really know how good it is because your opponent simply can't do something. So it seems worse than it is because it takes away a lot of actions from your opponent that you just don't know about. You never know about because you never know if they have it, especially in an online setting. You know, in real life, people are like, ah, if you didn't have this and they show you your hand and all these removal spells they couldn't cast. But in this case, you just don't know because the game just ends. So either way, uh, pretty sweet. Green-white humans. This is definitely a powerful deck. And I, you know, this is definitely not a tuned version. I was just like, what are all the cool humans? Let's put all those in, all the ones that I like to play with. But seemed like it worked out pretty well. Thank you all so much for making it to the end of the video. Please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed us destructing Atraxa over and over and over again. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. That way you can be sure to get all of the best historic brawl commander gladiator cube the best singleton formats that magic has to offer if you want to know what i'm doing outside of youtube on my social media you can follow me right down here for all of those other places and if you're watching this in real time this thursday on the early access event uh i will be playing so what is uh march the machines Bunch of hot March the Machines action. Of course, if you're not able to catch it live, you can catch it right here on YouTube later. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm Justin Parnell, and we'll see you next time.